Hi everyone, thank you all for joining us today. Um, just letting a few of you just to log on. Um, I'm Heather Robertson from KTC Designs and thank you for joining us on our Facebook Live today. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I've been with KTC for almost five years or about five years now, uh, mainly on the uh, clay crafting side. Um, so I'm fairly new to card crafting and I'm hoping that I can join in with you all and you can learn from me and I can learn from you. Um, so hello to everybody in the group and a big welcome to all the new members to our group. Um, I've seen a lot of new members join us recently um, with very, very mixed abilities as well. So we have some new card makers and we have some experienced card makers. So I hope that we can all learn from each other and enjoy the wonderful world of card making together. So um, I'm going to switch over to my desktop so I can show you what we're going to be making today. So let's have a look. Oh, actually, before I do, uh, also a big shout out to the team in the office. They're going to be answering any questions that you have through our online chats um, and sharing um, information on where you can buy the products that I'm using today. So a big thank you to Christine and Ian and everyone else in the office. Thank you for all you do. And uh, let's get started. So here we go. Right. So I want to show you today, I'm just going to show you how to make a simple flower patch pot card. Now, there are eight cards in the kit that I'm going to be showing you. So you can make all of these with just one kit. And these are really, really beautiful. I love the fact that you've got the 3D decoupage. So you've got that 3D element. The card can stand on its own. So it can stand up on its own. You can write your lovely message in there, but it's a beautiful keepsake. I mean, who wouldn't want to have that on their mantelpiece? Um, I gave one of these away recently as a birthday present and I know she still got it. She still got it on display. So she absolutely loves this card. So I hope, I hope that you will enjoy this kit as much as I have or as much as I do. Um, this is a perfect introduction to, to card making, uh, for a complete beginner because you get everything. So let me show you what you're getting in the kit and how, how the kit comes. Let me just move these to one side. So the kit I'm going to show you today is this one here. We just zoom out just a tad so that we can see it all. Right. So flower patch pots kit. In this kit, you're going to get eight flower patch pot cards in four designs. So you get two of each. Um, but let, let's take you through them. So you get your lovely cover. Then you get these four different designs. So you're going to have your pot the stand, the decorative strip, your card, and some basic instructions on the back, uh, or some inspiration so that you can see how to, how to build your cards. So we've got these four beautiful designs, uh, but we've got eight sheets of these so you can make your eight cards. We've also then got three sheets of decoupage flowers. These are all die pre-cut for you, so all you need to do is just pop these pop these out of the sheet and you have all your flowers so there, there are three sheets here more than enough to really fill your flower pots for all your cards and you may even have a few extras afterwards we've also included two sheets of foiled uh, birthday banners they're not just bir for birthdays though so you've got lovely gold foil sent with love best wishes special friend um, just for you as well as happy birthday and they're in some lovely complementary colors to match the cards we've also included of course the important envelopes so these cards are still small enough that you can pop these in the post box and post them and then we have the instruction sheet as well this is on the back of the cover um, and we'll take you through step by step um, showing you how to to assemble the card um, I will show you these in a little while so that is the kit let's move that to one side um, also we do have 
additional sheets of the flower patch decoupage available to buy on the website so you can have a look there and later on i will also be showing you these gorgeous butterflies these are all pre-cut um, and you've got a sheet of pastels and brights included in this um, in this pack and at the moment we have a deal on our website we have a lovely bundle where you can buy the kit these butterflies and the foam pads that you'll need to assemble um, your your kit so and these are going to be these two different sized uh, foam pads I can talk all day long about the products so let me let me show you and you can show I can show you how these are assembled so where is the one that I'm going to assemble so we're going to start off first of all with our with our card sheet um, and these come out of they're all die cut for you so you don't you don't have to worry about getting your scissors out for this it's really really simple to get all the bits out that you need now I always start by assembling the pot first and then don't forget <laughs> you've also got these these lovely pieces here are great for inspiration but if you love your fussy cutting why not cut some of these out stick these on your envelope or stick them onto another craft project that you're that you're using nothing goes to waste and also the strips on the side here are beautifully decorated so you can use these as additional elements um, with what you're making so let's zoom in also a big big thank you to you all this is probably this is my first card making facebook live so um yeah i'm i'm doing all the camera stuff myself here and uh well i would say yeah probably am a little bit nervous because i want to get this right for you but i hope you enjoy this kit as much as i do it's such a fab kit now your flower pot is also pre-scored for you so all you need to do is decide which way round you want the flower pot so if i get two examples here i'm going to use the roses today let's just get these two out you can choose whether you want to have a white pot with a terracotta strip uh, edge or you could have the terracotta pot with the white strip so for today i think i'm going to go for the the white i really like like the way this design looks so just fold it up or fold it on the score line and match it up if you have a bone folder you can use that but you don't need one and again just fold fold that side there then this is going to be the card that will slot inside your pot this is where your flowers are going to sit so before you before you stick the pot down just double check where that card is going to sit in your pot you don't want to put glue or tape all the way down to the bottom here you only need to tape that top part there so you could use you could use a tacky glue or a, a, a pva glue to stick this down or you could use some double-sided tape I'm going to use just a little bit of double-sided tape for this if I can find the end there we go and I'm not going all the way I'm not going all the way down to the bottom you don't need much I always put way too much tape and glue on all this, or <laughs> anything I'm making because I'm I don't want anything to fall off. Oops, peeling up the tape there. Let's try that again. There we go. Fold that on itself. Make sure that's nice and secure, and then just test your card in the flower pot. Yep, that fits nicely in there. I'm happy with that so pop that out and now i'm going to add some foam tab foam foam pads to the underside of the the lip of my flower pot 
and this will give um, give this more dimension, make it look more 3D. So the bundle that I mentioned that would be available, you're getting in that bundle, you'll get the um, what size are these? 24 by 12 millimeter foam pads as part of that bundle and you'll also get the five by five millimeter um, foam pads so these these are quite tiny and you get three of each so if you get the bundle you're saving 10 percent on everything that you're buying um, and including shipping that's less than 30 pounds for everything that you need to to make these cards then we want to add the stand on the back so I want this to be a white card, so am I doing this right? I'll fold that that way. And again, you can use a bit of glue or you can use some double-sided tape for this. Glue never comes out when you want it to. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm going to keep that upside down. There we go. Now you'll notice, oh, I don't know if you can see this on the card, you can see there's a centre dot there from where it was um, attached to the rest of the card. That's your centre line. When you're, mat when you're lining up the stand, you don't want to put the stand in the centre or, or the the strip in the center you want to put the stand in the center so line that up so that the stand is central and then you've got a 90 degree nice flat base there so that bit is flat against the base and that middle bit lines up with the middle dot there and there you have a flower pot that stands so there, there's your pot almost ready to go and of course this um, gives us a chance to dry and that can fold flat so when you pop that in your envelope that's all good to go and I'm going to I'm going to decide where to put this once I've put the flowers in my pot so I'm going to move those to one side and let's bring out our decoupage sheet all right here we go as I said, these are all pre-cut for you already, so all you need to do is carefully remove all the flowers from the sheet. And remember, you have three sheets of these, so if you find that you want more flowers in your pot, get more flowers out of the other sheets. There, there's plenty here. So let's get all these out. I love how easily these, these release. I was just thinking this is actually a really nice kit to take if you're um, take with you if you're traveling, if you're going away somewhere, because everything's included in the pack other than the glue and the tape. And you can just pop this in your bag. You don't need extra tools. Everything's here. It also makes a perfect present as well. So if you wanted to give give someone a lovely friendship gift or give someone a new craft to try out, this is the perfect bundle. This is a perfect gift to do that. So I'm just going to pop these to one side. And you'll see there's there's quite a lot here, and some of these layer up, and some of them are are extra. So the first mistake I made when I was doing this kit was first of all I didn't read the instructions. I've <laughs> I very rarely read instructions. I'm really bad, and I'm, I know a lot of people are like that. So when I first started making these, I popped the card in and I went, okay, I'm just going to start assembling and sticking my flowers onto the card in the pot so I can see where they go. Um, 
there's an easier way to do it. So assemble your flowers first. Keep the card to hand, but assemble your flowers first. This is the, the roses are probably the easiest one to start with because you can just layer these up one on top of the other. Um, there we go. So like a traditional decoupage where you just layer one thing on top of the other and build it up. But you don't have to do that. So if I just get a different set over here. For example, if I take the roses or this, these lovely, I don't know what these flowers are. Um, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I'm terrible with flower names. Uh, this set here, there are a lot more flowers in this. So this is a much, much bigger bunch. So, uh, it's, so if you decided you, you could, you could layer, start layering them and stacking them one on top of the other or offset them against each other so spread them out a bit it's a bunch of flowers you can you can make this as big and as layered as you want or you can just keep it quite small and just add a couple and some of the individual flowers and you can keep it as quite a small arrangement or you can go quite big one thing I would be careful of, though, is if you are going to be using the envelopes, just make sure that the width of your card and the height of your card will fit into the envelope. One of the first cards I made, I made it way too wide and it wouldn't fit in the envelope. Um, so it's just just a little kind of learning tip to, to get used to or, or to remember when assembling these. So let's pop these ones away. And the, the lovely thing is you can take all of these flowers out of the sheet, keep them together in a little envelope or a plastic sleeve, and you've got them for when you need them or you've got them for any other projects you want to use them on. So I've got some roses here that I've already added some foam pads to. So I'm going to get these out. But I'll stick a couple of foam pads on some of these here as well. I'm a messy crafter. Once I start getting stuff out, it just spreads, and I think we're all the same. <laughs> I think we're all the same there. So you start with your big your biggest base, and then you separate out separate all your pieces out so that you can see exactly what you've got that way you can start layering and planning your arrangement so i tend to keep the big piece the next size piece and then I kind of go from large medium to small and then all the small bits that way I don't get confused with with what's on my on my surface um, and then I'm going to go in with some big foam pads on the biggest pieces now I'm not sticking this down onto my card just yet so let's see I've already added some foam tape to that but let me just get this, this one here so you can see how these foam pads are just the perfect size. Let's start layering this up. Bring that a little more central. Okay, so I can see that these three flowers match these three flowers here. So I'm going to start building these up. And these two match up with that. So I've already put some foam pads on the back. Of that one. And those match up with that. You don't have to have them directly on top. You can offset them slightly. But for this, I'm just going to add these directly on top. And then you're starting to get that 3D, that 3D layered effect already. 
then I'm going to see where this one goes. That one matches up with that there. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to pop that one there. And uh, this, this one. There we go. That one goes over there. And then we've also got these little bits here. And this is where these foam pads are quite useful. Um, so if I just take that bit there, these are a lovely small size. So I'm, I've got two together here. I'm so good at getting these stuck to me. After I've used foam pads, it looks like I've got confetti all over my studio floor because I just rip these bits of tape off the back and they just go everywhere and they stick to everything <laughs> and I'm really bad at tidying up there's no time for tidying up when you're crafting because you just want to get on to the next craft project I'm sure we're all uh, I'm sure we're all in agreement there <laughs> so yeah pop that one on there and don't forget you can also double up so if you find that you want one piece um, to be raised a little bit more just stick two bits of foam tape on the back it doesn't have to just be one piece this is your project so there's no there's no right or wrong way to do this and and I think that's what I'm loving so much about card making right let's Pop this piece over, over there. And as you can see, this is it's really simple. These are going together really, really quickly. You're not needing any fancy tools for this. It's really, really simple and so effective. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to put this one on as well. So you don't have to put all of the roses on here. You can leave a couple of extra bits to one side if, if you don't want to use them, or you could use them on the pot itself. But this, what I'm using here is just one layer of that decoupage sheet. And we've still got, okay, we've got that one little flower left, but this is just from one sheet. And you've got a lovely, lovely bunch of roses there. <laughs> Jane, I've just seen your comment about the foam pads ending up on your cat. Yeah, um, they end up on my dog as well. <laughs> or uh, or stuck, stuck to my backside or something. <laughs> so, yeah, they're uh, the bane of uh, Crafter's Studio. Glitter and uh, foam pad backs, they just get everywhere. <laughs> Right now, now we can see what our flower pot is going to look, our flower patch is going to look like on our pot. And we can start to see where to stick it onto our card. So pop the card in the pack. And then you can decide how high up or how low down you want the flowers to sit in your card. I don't like seeing the white behind. So I tend to have mine quite high up that's just it's just personal personal preference before we do this though let's uh, now that we've got the flowers on here let's have a look at where we want to put the strip so i could have that along there like that could have that in the middle or we could have it running along the bottom but don't forget we've also got our sentiments as well so let me just get my sentiment sheet out. Where did I put them? Here we go. And again, these come away really, really easily. So you have two sheets with different fonts, different colours of font and different, um, different complementary pastel colours to match your pots. And they really do just pop out really easily. They're pre-cut for you. So again, you don't need any scissors and they just 
they just pop out really beautifully and they are so so pretty and easy to read um i don't like it when you have a sentiment on a card that you can't read straight away um so i think the these are great and you can also buy these packs of sentiments separately we've got them as a, a pack um what's it called the foiled pastel birthday banners it's a pack of four and they come in gold and silver included in the pack um included in this kit though you do get the two sheets of gold so everything you need will be in the kit for this but if you wanted extra additional ones then then you've got them so i'm going to use a bit of double-sided tape for this just for, for speed because i'm going um i want this to stick down quickly but again you could use you could use your glue for this as well why is it i always fight with the tape there we go and we've given you a nice long banner so if you decided you wanted it at the top you could pop that on the top or if you want it at the bottom or in the middle you can just then cut this to size to the size that you want so i'm going to pop mine in the middle this time oops <laughs> there we go grab my scissors And I'm lining up my scissors with the side of the card. You can use a craft knife for, for this as well, but scissors work perfectly well for this. There we go, and that's standing up nicely. And let's see, we're going to say special birthday sent with love just for you. Let's see what this looks like just for you. This is the bit I always struggle with is actually choosing choosing a sentiment. So I'm thinking actually I like that. Mm, no, come on, make up your mind, Heather. I'm so indecisive. I'm gonna go for the green just for you. And let's pop some foam pads on the back there. you don't need as you, you don't need this many if you wanted to just cut these in half what i tend to do if i want slightly bigger i want you know slightly smaller foam pads but not as small as the other size i'll just cut these in half they cut really easily let's peel that back again I'm going to have to show you an aftermath picture of my studio after this. <laughs> I'm going to pop that there. And I've again, I've, I want that to be 3D. So it gives you that extra detail and extra dimension to your project. Then we can come in with our card. And attach our flowers. And then you would have a complete finished card. However, if you're wanting to add something extra to your card, I want to show you these because they are really, really good. I, I love these so much. Let's see if I can find them. Here we go. A year of peelable stickers. So these are transparent stickers with lovely sentiments written all over them. Um, these are available on our website as well. And I love the fact that a lot of these sentiments fit the cards beautifully. So I've already selected this one. There are seven, 70 verses per pack, which I think is such a bargain. Um, and it's so good. And it covers everything from birthdays to Easter to Christmas um, and, and new baby. So just peel them off. And I wanted to show you this before I assembled my card because it's easier to attach the sticker before you attach your flowers. And I'm just going to pop that on top. 
of my lovely card and you can write on these as well so even if you pop the sticker on here you can still write on this and um, let me just get my cutting mat and my craft knife and then just use the card as a guide and cut off the excess tape or sticker so you don't need to do this step but i just think it it adds such a lovely classy um finish to your cards and looks so professional by adding that because my handwriting is my handwriting is not that good of i might be able to draw and paint but my my, my handwriting is atrocious <laughs> so i'm going to pop this back into my flower pot and then i'm going to place place my flowers so i'm going to come in with my foam pads again and i'm going to add the foam pads to the card not to my flowers and because you've added the foam pads the flowers will now sit on top of the flower pot so before you stick it down just see roughly where you want this to go if you're happy with the placement then place it down now i can see i've got a little bit of white card there that i don't like so i'm going to grab one of my spare roses uh, that one will do i think you don't need to do this this is just something i like to do take a little bit of glue pop that Pop that in that little section there and I'm just going to tuck another rose behind everything there. I just wanted to fill out the card just a little bit and then we can come in with some more finishing touches. So I'm going to bring in some of these gorgeous gorgeous butterflies. I think this is probably one of the most exciting well I don't have one favorite um card project uh, products from ktc but i really really do love these if i can find my butterflies now because i've put them somewhere safe ready to go here we go found them i've got a big u-shaped desk around me and everything's piled piled up so the kaleidoscope of butterflies as I said, this is included in our bundle at the moment. These are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the bright colours there. And they are all die cut and it's double sided. I think, I mean, isn't that exciting? <laughs> and I love these colours. I mean, I love this pink one, actually. I wasn't going to, I love the pastels, but. That bright pink one just was that was just popping out and you can you can paint these with your glitter paints you can add jewels you can add some of your um your foil stickers to these and make them really really sparkle make them really pretty so choose the butterflies that you want for your project and bring this bring this along and let's just have a play see see what they look like uh, i think that one's a bit bright for this i like the fact that these are nice and soft and i like working in threes so okay so i've popped a small foam pad on the back of this one which is flying away from me pop that there and you've got that lovely 3d look pesky uh, little foam pads. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of each wing here. Not much, just because I know it's going to be overlapping my card. There you go. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this one. 
I do like this glue because it's really nice and thick, but I've got a really small nozzle on there, so I've got to squeeze it. And I'm not, I've not put glue over the entire butterfly because I want it to have that dimension. I want it to look three dimensional, like it's, like it's just landed or it's about to take off and fly away. Um, we could maybe add one more butterfly. No, no, I think, I think, I think that, that works. That works. We don't, we don't need more butterflies than that. And there we have our beautiful, really simple card that, I mean, I'd be so proud to give this card and I'd be so happy to receive this card as well. And again, you can just pop out your flowers from the pot, write your message on the back, and they get to keep this as a keepsake. I mean, you could even hide some money in there as well. This could be a a money a money card as well. I love that. <laughs> so let me just get out a few more cards so you can have another close look at these and then I'll end with our slideshow again. Let's grab these. I've got so many things. So I've got three different versions of the same rose card here. So we've got one with a brown pot and I've used one of the um, year of peelable stickers in the center there. Also with the butterfly. This, this one's without the butterfly. And again, really simple and effective. Then I love, absolutely love the look of this one. So this is what I was mentioning earlier. You can have quite a small arrangement like that, or you could really expand it and make it really big. But this is what I was talking about earlier. If you make it too big, it's not going to fit um, your envelope. So this one is just that little, I might just be able to squeeze it in. So just bear that in mind when you're assembling your cards. And then we have this lovely arrangement. I love these ones. And again, we've put the sentiment on the pot here. But if you wanted to, you could just tuck the sentiment into the flowers. Like, you know, when you have a bunch of flowers, you've got the little cards that go in there. Um, or use some of the, the packaging and create a complimentary little signpost and use, use two, of, two of the sentiments. You don't just need to stick to one. But I love how the butterflies complement this, this design. Um, and, and this pack so, so beautifully. Then lastly, if you find that you've got lots of leftover flowers, why not combine them into something completely different again? And um, this is, we've, I've used our six by six rustic wood effect box frames for this. Um, just put a background on there and used any leftover flowers I had and just built up another fr uh, flower patch. Um, on a different style of card and again using those any extra um, sentiments that you have and more butterflies from your from your pack so um yes <laughs> i hope i hope that you've you've learned a lot today um or i hope you've enjoyed enjoyed this little project today um and um i i hope i hope you get get yourselves one of these packs and have a play. I hope you love them as much as I do. Um, let me just switch back over here for a moment. There, I couldn't find my camera for a moment. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm fairly new to card making and I've learned so much just from using this pack and all the other little bits and pieces. I've got really excited about card making. I never thought I'd see the day, but I'm I'm hooked, especially with the with the 3D decoupage. I mean it's so easy to do and it's so satisfying. Um don't forget this is a Facebook group. Um and we'd love for you to share what you make or if you've got questions if you're not sure on a technique ask us someone in the group will know how to do it 
Um, and I learn as much from other card crafters and, and crafters in general. I learn as much from you as I hope one day that you'll learn from me. So let's share, let's, let's communicate with each other and, and let's enjoy card making together. Um, if you've got further questions, pop them into, um, pop, pop them into the comments. One of us will do our best to answer, answer them. I hope you've enjoyed today and I'll hope, uh, we hope you'll join us again soon for our next uh, next Facebook Live, and I hope that we're going to be doing many more of these. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.